Hi, my name is Kenya Nation Holmes. I have two children, Zachary in kindergarten, uh, Jacob in the second grade, and I love this school. I love the parents, I love the teachers, I love the community, I love the NTAs, uh, the cafeteria, everything about this school is awesome because it's like a little family. Everybody knows me and I know them. So the first I received a letter that told me that my son's school was suddenly failing and that Superintendent Height strongly recommended that a charter school organization come over and take over it, said that Worcester was in a crisis. And it like blew me away. Because for the three years my, my oldest son has been here, he's done great. And I'm glad to see so many faces out here smiling and happy because I think this is the most important thing I'm gonna do in my life. Instead of giving me a lot of five years to the charter school organizations, let Worcester State District and turn it around by becoming a community school. This way we can get the funds for the resources that the school so desperately deserves. We have had several meetings in the last almost two and a half months. We have done everything we can and still are. Now we're formulating a plan. We're having a plan proposal being written up as we speak to try to present it to the SRC and hopefully that'll work. You think that we do not deserve the right to make a decision on a very important issue for us, which is the education of our children. I've seen the resources from the school steadily move uh, and leave. Uh, where you used to have teacher's aides, a full-time nurse and a full-time counselor, and none of that exists anymore. Uh, how do we set up our children for failure and then call them chronically underperforming? Yeah. Former student body president, but I will not stop letting them hear my voice. They're not going to take my school, they're not going to take our resources. I'm no longer there, but my voice is still there, and I'm not going to be quiet until they hear what I have to say. Over and over again, our voices are silenced as parents. We are looked down upon like we don't know what we're talking about, that we don't care, that we don't have time. We feel that our voices should be included in making decisions that affect our we cannot just come in and take over someone's school without a vote, without a, a choice. You just came in and took it away. You treated me like a child, which I am not. I don't care if anyone ever knows my struggle or what I've said or my speeches. But in the end, if it keeps the school district and it keeps the other two schools district, then I'm fine. And I just want everyone to keep in mind, you got to keep fighting a good fight. No matter how much it seems like you're down, you can always pick yourself up.